In tonight's Wednesday's child story, an adoption and a rare one at that. Meet a mom who fell for a young man in foster care with special needs. Even though he's 20 years old, she wanted to adopt him. It's called an adult, non-minor, dependent adoption. Enter Johnny and Mom Bernadine. This is adoption day. Do you know what happened today? You were adopted. Yeah. Yeah. Who is this lady next to you? Mo. I met Jonathan at his group home for Wednesday's child. We even danced. A nursing assistant decided to adopt him. My love grew for Jonathan and decided to um, speak to husband and see if um, and see if there was the, the possibility of us um, making room at home. What others see as limitations, certainly his ability to form and be part of a family is not one of them. To his advocates, this day has extra meaning because this is an adult adoption. Jonathan is 20. L.A. County hasn't been doing adult adoptions or non-minor dependent adoptions for very long, so it's very enjoyable and um, just heartfelt. Cynthia Billy is from the Alliance for Children's Rights. Jonathan's 20, and it's a perfect example that it is never too late for a permanent, loving, safe family. Mom, Bernadine Gray, is the adopting parent. She and her husband have two grown children. What has he brought to your life at home? Very joyful, very happy. So he's brought this into our home, um, a bond between, between all of us. Jonathan's siblings of four years say it's super great, um, loves to be around people, loves the family, so it's, it's nice to have them. Congratulations, the adoption is fine. An entourage turned out to support Johnny. Edward provides respite services. Um, he deserves a family, and uh, she has worked so hard to keep him. Grace Cano ran his group home. As a group home, we provide a bridge, and we hope that that bridge leads to a forever home like it did today. And Jonathan is officially part of our family. <laughs>